Alright, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the build of our teardrop trailer. So, I've got all the phylon cut and I've got it installed on the roof. I've got the ha back hatch made. It's just setting in place. And, uh, eh, I'm just kidding. I don't have any of that done yet. Uh, you know, the past couple of weeks during the week, uh, it's been like 50s and 60s uh, degree weather until the weekend comes and then it's usually bad and uh, Friday, this past Friday, it started to snow by Sunday we had inches of snow on the ground there was no way I could get the file on out, get it cut uh, I would like to have but it didn't happen I think this weekend is supposed to be a little bit nice so we should be able to uh, we should be able to get this file on installed on the top but let me show you what we will do today so what we're going to do today is we're going to secure the cabin to the frame. If you have the plans and you created a trailer frame according to the plans or you modified a trailer according to the plans, I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to get this thing attached to the frame. So to attach the cabin to the frame, I'm going to use some carriage bolts. They're 5 16 by 2 and 3 quarter inches long. Uh, I have an oddball here one. I don't know how that got into the bag, but I might have to go back to the store and grab another one. This is like 3 inches or something. Uh, once the carriage bolt goes through, then we're going to put a washer on it. We'll put a lock washer on it. We'll put a 5 16 nut, and then we'll cap it off with a 5 16 nylon locking nut. But before we get all of that installed, we have to make sure that our trailer cabin is sitting on our frame in the right location. And the reason for that is that on the trailer frame itself, there are 10 tabs. There's three on each side. So one, two, three. There'll be one, two, and three. And there's two in the rear and there's two in the front. These line up with the framing for the floor. So the longitudinals and the cross beams here. So when we drill through, they're actually going to drill through and secure to the frame instead of uh, through the top and bottom floor and the foam in between. We're going to make sure that this thing is solid to the frame. So uh, we're going to go right through the framing itself and the floor. And uh, before we do that, we have to make sure that our cabin is setting in the proper place. We don't want it too far forward. We don't want it too far back. And we want to make sure that we're side to side so that all of our little tabs that we have in place line up with our uh, floor framing. So when we through bolt, it actually goes through the framing for the floor. So as the cabin sits on the frame, this is the seam or the end of our flooring right here on both ends and this is our seam and this is the end of the trailer so the distance from the end of the trailer frame to the seam on each end is about 13 16 of an inch or three quarters of an inch somewhere right in there that's where we want to be and then for side to side from the trailer frame to the edge the outside edge of our cabin is two inches and we want to have that two inches all the way around front and back side to side and on the ends we want to have at least three quarters of an inch front and back from the ends of the trailer frame to the seam 13 and 16 or three quarters of an inch so Let's get under here and do a little measurement and see how close we are as far as having this cabin frame squared to our trailer frame. So at the back end of the trailer, here is our seam and here is our trailer frame. So we want to make sure that the distance between the trailer frame and the seam here for our floor is roughly 13 16 of an inch. And if you can see that, we are at, let me get you up here, we are at 
about 13 and 16 of an inch and we should be that way on both sides and front and back we'll take a look all right so here's a shot from the other side if we set our tape up here we can measure looks to be about 13 16 somewhere in there three quarters to 13 and six, 13 16 let's check the front out so looking at the front we are about 13 and 16 from the edge of the trailer right to the uh, seam and we are that on both sides so it looks like we're good front and back now let's check the side so here's the uh, edge of the trailer we should be about two inches and I've got about well it looks like I got about an inch and 15 sixteenths almost two inches on this side and uh, we'll check the other side and see if we're about the same so on this side we are sitting at yeah, right there at the bottom almost two inches so we're pretty good on the back end let's take a look at the front real fast so we should have from the trailer frame to the edge of the trailer two inches and boom two inches the other side boom two inches I love when a plan comes together now when we get ready to fasten the trailer down uh, we're gonna through bolt and in between the bottom of the trailer frame or the cabin and the trailer frame we're going to use a piece of uh, rubber that I have I have 10 pieces because we have 10 tabs going around and uh, we're going to put that in between the trailer frame and the cabin body and we'll be drilling through and once everything's compressed hopefully that seals in between the cabin body and the frame and we'll put a little bit of uh, sealant on the bottom when we uh, screw these things together. So hopefully no water gets inside. That is the idea. Okay, so that's how we're going to secure the cabin to the frame. We've got the cabin centered onto our frame just, just according to the drawings, uh, which is <laughs> tickles me because I know that when I go to through bolt these things, I'm going to land right through the center of all of the uh, framing studs. So, next thing to do is go ahead and start drilling some holes and uh, running some bolts through. Before we fasten, I want to make sure that uh, you know we're not going to move the trailer cabin around a little bit. So, the way we're going to start is in the front, the first two tabs inside the cabin. We're going to go ahead and pre-drill those, insert the bolts, and we're just going to hand tighten those, and then we'll go around and once everything is pre-drilled, we'll lift the cabin up off the frame, insert the rubber uh, bushings in between the frame and the cabin, and then set everything back down, finish our holes, drop in our bolts, fasten it down, and then we can call that pretty secure. I think it's going to work out fine, and uh, there'll be enough bolts in here that secure this cabin to the frame. Uh, it won't be flying around in the wind or down the highway. So uh, that's looking good. So let's get started. All right. So I'm under the trailer. Nope, not taking a nap. But I decided to change things up a little bit. We went ahead and put our little rubber spacers underneath of all the tabs. So let me give you a shot of that. So underneath of all the tabs, we have a nice little rubber spacer. So I just kind of set a jack on here, lift it up just a little bit, and put the spacers around all the uh, around the tabs. And I don't know if you can see it there in the back, but I've got my spacers back there as well. And they fit nice and tight, so the whole deck is laying right on top of those. 
so it's going to provide a nice seal. So next step is we'll pre-drill a tiny hole here. Then we'll go inside and put a sacrificial piece of wood down, weight it down. Then we'll come back with a 5 16 and drill through because I'd like to like to have a nice clean hole in there without splintering things up. Let's go around and pre-drill all of our holes. That way we know where we can put our sacrificial block on the inside and get some bolts through. So from the bottom, I pre-drilled a tiny hole through there and it came out in the floor through here. And of course it splintered out just a little bit. So when I go drill with the 5 16 bit, I don't want it splintering out so much. So we're going to piece of, put a piece of wood down and then we're going to set some weight on top. Then we'll uh, go from the bottom and drill through and maybe or maybe not touch this metal. But at any rate, hopefully it eliminates the splintering. So we'll try it out here on this first hole and see if it works out. Alright, without showing you guys, it did the trick. So by setting my wood on here and putting some weight, it eliminated uh, splintering out all this wood. So we'll stick our bolt through and our washers, put a nut on it, and then we'll do the other side. We'll go ahead and go around and get all the holes drilled, and then we'll come back and bolt everything up. Let's get to drilling some holes. Well, as luck would have it, I had one oddball bolt. And as I put the original ones that I purchased, two and three quarter, I think it was, um, the longer one is the one that I need. I'm so glad that I have that one so I can use that when I go back to the store. So I'm going to replace these, trade them out for, I think these are three and a half. We're going to go with this one. That leaves enough room that I can add my washer and my lock washer and my nut. And then I can cap it off with my nylon and uh, it'll be perfect. We can get one installed. We'll have to make a store run. We'll get the rest and then uh, put those in. Alright, so our first bolt is setting in place. And when we draw this down, we're just going to... Uh, we're not going to suck this into the floor. We'll just make sure that it bottoms out to the floor flush and uh, it'll be under the mattress so nobody's going to feel it or see it. And it's going to hold the cabin on just right. I'll give you a shot underneath what the uh, washers and nuts look like. Alright, with the first one in place, we've got our washer, lock washer, and this first nut. Then what we'll do is we'll come back once everything's tightened down and we'll put on our nylon nut. And that will lock everything in place. It won't be going anywhere. And it'll draw it down enough that the thread should just be flush or just past the bottom of this nut. And we'll do that to all of these. Get that cabin secured to the frame. Alright, with a little crawling around under this thing, I 
I've got the holes drilled and I've got the bolts through. So we've got enough to hold this cabin in place and even here in the back. So we're good to go. Now all we have to do is uh, put the washers on, put the nuts on, tighten her down, and uh, hey that cabin is on that trailer. All right, now that we have all the bolts and washers and nuts on, now it's time to put our nylon walk, uh, lock washers on, or nylon lock nuts. We'll put those on, and then we will be done with securing the cabin onto the frame. So let's get those installed, and we'll move forward. All right, so we've got plenty of nut left here. We'll just go ahead or bolt. <laughs> Man, having a hard time talking tonight. I could have probably got away with those shorter bolts, but better safe than sorry. So we'll get that on there. I'm putting the uh, lock nuts on here just in case over time vibration and such I don't want these nuts coming loose even with the lock washers and uh, backing down and then have, taking a chance of this cabin falling off of the frame and there we go just like so so double nut lock washer washer We've got our rubber spacer which is smashing down sealing that really tight so pretty happy with the way that that fits all right nine more to go and we will be done hey. all right so the cabin is now secured to the frame and wish I could give you a shot of below the trailer here but it's pretty tight quarters and it's kind of dark so I don't think the video would turn out that well but anyway, the uh, tabs that are welded onto the trailer make short work because now you have a nice place to uh, bolt things down instead of going through the trailer frame itself. And so that worked out really well. Plus the uh, rubber bushings that I put in between the cabin and the frame uh, compressed. So uh, I think it's going to be leak free. Next is going to be the Phylon. It looks like this weekend is going to be nice for a change. So we'll be able to get the phylon outside. We'll get it cut in half. We'll throw it on top of the trailer, get things lined up, trim a little bit. And then we'll roll things back and start spraying the glue and getting that onto the cabin itself. And I'm looking forward to pretty much having the phylon done on uh, the cabin itself. Then we will start working on the hatch. Uh, I'm still in the planning stage for that and thinking it through but we will have this thing uh, drawn up and start building on the hatch pretty soon then we have a couple of little odds and ends that we need to finish up button up whatever you want to call it and start making this thing look like a little tiny home and uh, near the end we'll start tricking it out I've got some ideas that I'd like to throw on here to uh, personalize it just a little bit. Uh, I know the video wasn't a challenging video, but uh, I showed you how to line up that cabin onto the frame itself, provided that you use the plans, built the trailer, and of course the cabin is, is off the plans. I'm, I'm pretty happy that the, the, fr the frame was square, the measurements lined up, and uh, yeah, so it's looking really good. So if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. And uh, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for the up and coming videos. 
and uh, you don't want to miss those until we uh, are totally through. And then I think I've got a little road trip planned. That's the plan anyway. Until next time, I do want to thank you for staying tuned. Thank all of you for uh, sticking it out with me and watching the videos and subscribing. And thank all of you guys for supporting the channels, uh, the channel and, and the plans. And I really do hope that uh, you get started on your projects and they turn out better than mine. Uh, some of you guys are way craftier than I am. I've seen your work and very impressive. With that, I'd like to say thanks again and you know what I'm going to say. Stay tuned.